Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do another test on this carbon felt alcohol stove that I got on eBay. Uh, boy, did I get the messages and thumbs down and stuff for this. But I'm going to try it one more time. Uh, I'm told that this is a an old version of the Mini Bull M2, Mini Bull Design M2. Has some problems with it, which I think I've figured out what went wrong with it. When I got it, it came with a squeeze bottle, which, I don't know, I think these things are rather stupid because you squeeze it out and the alcohol comes out, but as soon as you let it go and the bottle, you know, goes back, it sucks the alcohol back into the bottle, unless, of course, you ease the cap so that it can get air in through here and all that kind of garbage. I used a, a bubbler remote. I like using these type, this type rather. Because you can just set it to the height, and it uses the principle that liquid finds its own level. So wherever you have the level of this air opening in this is the level that it will come up on this burner. You just set it, let it go, and it just bubbles away during the test, or during your burn. But I was told that this is not the way it's meant to be used. It's meant to be used with a squeeze bottle. Because I was having problems where... Uh, there's a carbon felt part on the inside of this coming up through, but then on the outside on top is a donut, which makes this into like a mushroom shape. And the one that it came with, this little puny thing, I'm told isn't the way it, it, what it comes with. Okay, so I made another donut, a larger one that fits onto the inner core. I hope you can see it in this light. And it's just a little bit bigger than the uh, part on here. Now what I'm going to use today is one of my pump remotes because this thing when you pump the alcohol out it goes into the burner and stays there. There's going to be some fine tuning here because if you, you squeeze too much you can actually see this getting wet in the center and then you see the donut part getting wet from the alcohol. But if you squeeze just a little bit too much it starts running down the side and I think that's what happened with whoever had this before can you see the burn there silicone will take high heat but it won't take flames and it looks like whoever had this before the alcohol came down the side and was burning the uh, silicone there and the stove itself or the burner rather is actually a little tilted because of that so this is I'm gonna try this today for one last time, see if keeping the donut wick, donut part of the wick wet, if that helps the boil time. So let me get my water prepped. I'll get some alcohol in here, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, my water's just about the temperature. I'm going to try counting how many pumps that I used during this test. I haven't put anything in here yet. The uh, bulb is full of, of methanol, so. That's one. You can see it come down through the pipe. Two, three, four, five, six. The inner part of the carbon felt is getting wet. Seven. You can see it going to the donut. Eight. Oops, it just dripped off there. So now this is soaking wet. Temperature, water temperature is at 60. Let's try lighting this. On goes the pot stand. Two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 97 degrees. I think you can see that the outer donut is starting to glow. That means that it's running out of uh, alcohol. So let me try a pump, a pump here. That's six, or seven rather, eight. Okay, see how it's just glowing at one little spot. Let me try nine. Not quite nine. So, I'm not sure why the flames are getting all yellow this time, but um, that could be a rather a pain having to keep pumping this every time you're trying to cook with it. I have a tray underneath the burner 
just in case I do get kind of run over it'll contain it for me but let's see where it's going to go from here Oops. so there we have 211 and 212 in 9 minutes 1 second sorry about that I was distracted for putting in uh, pumping alcohol it looks like I had 15, 16, 17, 19 pumps to keep this thing going kind of disappointing let me take this off take this off okay what I want to see here now so that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in nine minutes one second the other day let me move this back the other day with the uh, smaller donut on it took 12 minutes 48 seconds so that saved us what a whole almost four minutes I think you can see that the uh, donut is starting to glow okay I'm gonna have to break here <laughs> my darn batteries running out so let me change batteries and I'll be right back okay you can see now I got a new battery in you can see that the donut is glowing meaning that it's kind of starving for alcohol I want to see here what happens if I overfill it so there's one pump two pumps three pumps it's getting its alcohol now still got a glowing spot four and see now if you go too far it rolls down the side now the silicone itself is actually burning I think that's where those white spots came from before you gotta be really careful with these things you overfill it and that's what happens it comes out through the uh, that donut there yeah see just like that I'm adding more just a little more alcohol and it flows down the side look at it there just carrying away uh, any minute now it could burn through the uh, supply hose and then that'll there we go that'll be a mess I think that's what it's doing now it's running away burning the hose yep give me the uh, the bubbler any day you won't have this kind of a problem with the buffler the bubbler yeah the hose is burning now let's see if we can see it there see uh, it just went out so that's actually sucking the alcohol in because it's burnt the whole the hose there okay now it's starting to use it up now I like the this pump remote is handy because all you got to do is just pump enough into the main body that the uh, the main body carbon felt has fuel in it but with that detached donut I don't know that's just not my cup of tea but I know I know I'm gonna get the thumbs down on this one. Oh boy anyway so that's the uh, carbon felt alcohol burner that I got on eBay it's supposed to be a mini bowl designs old old M2 uh, uses the donut carbon felt along with the right the tubular donut oh, I can't talk anyway two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in nine minutes ten seconds with something like 19 pumps there you can see it, how it's running out already and starting to glow that's how often you'd have to keep pumping this thing give me the bubbler you just set it right and it takes off for you so anyway I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks good remarks and as always watch for my buddy Max this isn't funny I know bye now